Jo Freunde, herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Video hier auf meinem Kanal. Wie jeden Morgen zeige ich euch natürlich auch heute wieder den neuen Fortnite Shop, der kommt schon in 5 Sekunden raus. Also schauen wir mal, was da heute so schönes reinkommt. Let's go und... Oh, schon wieder ein neuer Emote, okay. Aktuell gibt es ziemlich viele neue Emotes. Glitter heißt der. Ja, schaut doch ganz okay aus. Dann fangen wir direkt mal auf der linken Seite an. Ihr seht schon, dieses Auge ist verfolgt euch auch direkt. Hat also viele coole Effekte, einen ganz coolen Sound. Deswegen, ja, kann ich absolut empfehlen. Dazu gibt es noch den Farbballon, der ist relativ neu. So ein riesiges, aufgeblasenes Lama. Äh, außerdem noch den Farbbomber und den passenden Männchen-Skin, der ja sogar einen Backpack hier auf dem Rücken hat. Ja, auf jeden Fall ein ziemlich cooles Set. Ich finde, das ist so eines der typischsten Set für Fortnite. Also, wenn ich an Fortnite denke, dann auf jeden Fall auch an diese Farbbomber-Skins. Dann machen wir weiter mit dem Leviathan. Äh, leider gar nicht mein Skin. Damals, als er rauskam, habe ich ihn recht gehypt, aber danach nie wieder gespielt. Auch weil ich die Farbe von diesem Anzug wird mega komisch finde. Die globale Hacke, die hört sich irgendwie so an, als würde sie gleich auseinanderfallen. Man hört da drin auch ab und zu immer sowas klimpern. Sie ist auch riesig groß in Gelben. Das weiß ich nicht. Spitzig finde ich nicht so geil. Und dazu gibt es dann noch die Kalmar-Keule. Sie ist eigentlich cool animiert. Also ihr seht schon, dieser Kalmar bewegt so seine Tentakel und sein Gesicht. Ja, ist in Ordnung. Für den Preis auf jeden Fall geht das Ganze klar. Dann haben wir noch den Federverteidiger. Ja, relativ simpel mit seinem Ei auf dem Rücken. Dann dazu das Flattervieh, ein ziemlich dörpiger Gleiter mit diesem Huhn, das in verschiedene Richtungen schaut. Und als letztes, glaube ich, genau den Schneebesen noch für 500 Werks habe ich mir nicht gekauft. Obwohl es sich ganz lustig anhört, dass das so ein bisschen schwingt, ja, dieses Klimpern. Ja, ist in Ordnung. Kommen wir dann schon zur rechten Seite. Wie immer, lasst doch gerne einen Daumen nach oben da. Mal schauen, ob ihr heute wieder die 3500 Likes knackt. Fangen wir an dann mit dem Abstract Skin. Dieser Sprayer finde ich persönlich jetzt nicht so heftig. Auch der Backpack ist irgendwie nicht so geil. Dann gibt es noch den Servo. Wieder halt einer von den eine Million futuristisch aussehenden Gleitern, die es ja so in Fortnite inzwischen gibt. Hat relativ wenig Effekte. Ich glaube, für 1200 Feedbacks gibt es auf jeden Fall deutlich krassere Gleiter, die dann hier auch irgendwelche Düsen und irgendwelche krassen halt Partikel- oder Feuereffekte haben. Würde ich also wahrscheinlich eher sparen die V-Bucks und da kommen wir schon zum Highlight des heutigen Tages und zwar zum neuen Emote Glitter heißt er und kostet 5 V-Bucks und wir schauen uns auch direkt mal an. Okay, ich muss sagen, mein erster Eindruck war so Erinnert mich sehr an Popsternchen, auch wegen diesen, wegen diesen Effekten hier und diesen Bewegungen. Und die Musik ist mal sehr anders, weil ich glaube, wir hatten noch kein, kein Emote, wo eine weibliche Stimme singt, oder? Ich glaube, das ist der erste Emote, wo wirklich wir so eine Stimme singen haben. Und nicht nur, nicht nur Musik. Aber ja, finde ich ganz cool. Wird sich direkt hier mal gegönnt. Könnt ihr mal gerne mal in die Kommentare schreiben, wie ihr den Emote so findet. Ich würde sagen, das ist jetzt kein Vorbewegungs-Emote. Würde, glaube ich, relativ wenig Sinn machen bei dem. Aber ja, finde ich ganz cool. Ist mal ein bisschen was anderes. Also kann ich durchaus empfehlen. Wie gesagt, ich sammle ja die ganzen Emotes. Ich werde euch mal auch die Tage ein äh, Video machen, wo ich euch alle Emotes zeige, die es gibt. Ich habe ja aktuell bis auf einen einzigen Mode, nämlich den äh, vom Galaxy Skill von dem neuen. Da gibt es ja auch so einen legendären Emote. Den habe ich noch nicht. Da schreibe ich gerade jetzt mit Epic Games. Vielleicht bekomme ich den dann äh, freigeschaltet und dann kann ich euch ein Video dazu machen, wo ich dann halt wirklich jeden einzelnen Emote zeige, den es in Fortnite gibt. Deswegen, ich habe mir jetzt hier wirklich jeden geholt. Und ja, machen wir weiter und zwar mit dem äh, passendem, mit der passenden Hacke vom Abstract Skin, der Graffiti Roller für 1200 V-Bucks, finde ich ganz cool wegen den Effekten, hier seht ihr schon, der hat so Farbspritzer, es kleckst auch immer mal ab und zu runter, kann ich für den Preis, auch wenn es natürlich relativ teuer ist, trotzdem noch empfehlen, dann haben wir den Dynamo Skin drin, leider gar nicht mein Skin, ich persönlich finde ihn leider ziemlich hässlich, auch wenn ich weiß, dass einige Pro-Spieler mit dem spielen und im letzten Slot dann noch den Schlagfertig für 200 V-Bucks, ist in Ordnung, aber würde ich jetzt hier nicht, nicht besonders empfehlen. Und jo, das war's dann schon zum heutigen Fortnite Shop. Falls ihr neu seid, lasst gerne ein Abo da, wenn ihr hier keine neuen Skins in Fortnite mehr verpassen wollt. Falls ihr abonniert habt, aktiviert gerne die Glocke. Und wie immer könnt ihr auch gerne meinen Credit Code, wo ist meine Maus, da ist meine Maus, könnt ihr gerne meinen Credit Code Snoxy eintragen. Ähm, Snoxy mein Kanal und ein Ehrenzeichen dran. Alle 14 Tage müsst ihr das neu eintragen. Und ja, dann hoffe ich, das Video hat euch gefallen. Habt noch einen schönen Tag und bis morgen. Tschüss! Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is I Talk. No one clip is okay. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So, today I wanted to make a video talking about 
what I think are the least sold skins in the item shop. So we talked about what I thought was the most purchased items in the item shop, meaning the most, you know, paid for, what people mostly gravitated towards. This, I want to talk about the things I think were the least sold. Also, I only want to keep it to skins because I felt like when I expanded it to everything, it kind of confused things. So I thought I would only talk about skins here with what I think was the least sold in the item shop. Bandolier. Now, I feel like Bandolier maybe wasn't sold well, but at the same time, I feel like that's also because... Sorry for the voice crack. I also feel like it's because... They don't put them in the shop ever. Like, we have the Bandolette skin, which is a great skin. Don't don't get me wrong with that. The problem I have with this is that the skin doesn't come out with Bandolier ever. And that confuses me because it's like, well, they're part of the same set, right? Like, I don't even think they are in a set, but if they were, aren't they in the same one? Like, it makes sense, so why not put them there? But... I don't think it was sold well, mainly because it was a $15 skin with no back bling, so that was kind of a huge uh, thing for me that I think people wouldn't buy it just because of that. Because trust me, people will, will buy a skin just for the back bling. Uh, next we have is Diecast. Another skin I don't see in the shop very often at all, and one to me that I don't think really sold well much at all. Chromium probably sold more because it's a female skin and a lot of people gravitate towards the female skins more. But I don't know, to me, I feel like this skin just maybe wasn't sold well. Maybe, I think it has to do with the color scheme. It's just not pleasant for many people, so I feel like many people did not end up buying. Uh, next we have is Beast Mode. Now, I don't really have to explain at all why I think Beast Mode wasn't sold well, but I will explain anyway. Beast Mode is one of the bulkiest skins in the game, and to many players, bulky skins just aren't good, because a lot of people like to be able to see when they're aiming down their sight not have the skin be in the way of the crosshair you know what i mean so i definitely feel like this skin was probably sold decently well because it had four skins with one but then a lot of people probably refunded it when they realized how you know bulky the whole thing is next we have is ruckus which is the male version of mayhem again a skin that i think is good it gives me a really cool Borderlands feel to it, but at the same time, do I see it run at all? No, not really. And the back bling itself is not great by any stretch, so yeah, probably what probably wasn't sold well. Next we have is Jaeger. This was la this was actually in the Daily Shop not too long ago, and I feel like this sh I feel like the skin it's so detailed. It has so it, it looks really cool. It's just too bulky. It's just too bulky for anyone to be using. It's next we have his backbone, which is the male version of the chopper skin. Not a good looking skin whatsoever. I remember this was one of the skins I didn't buy outright because I just hated the design of it. And then I started collecting skins, so obviously I needed to get it, and they wouldn't bring it out. And I feel like they wouldn't bring it out mainly just due to the fact that it doesn't look good. The backbone's all right, but. I don't know, besides that, it's just not a pleasant looking skin, and I never see it run in game. Next we have is Flytrap. Again, same thing, doesn't really come out that in the shop very often, but at the same time, I don't think many people like it. It's a $20 skin, no back bling, and it doesn't look very pleasing to the eye, but I do like it for the fact that it's extremely troll. I think this skin has potential, but again, they don't sell it in the shop enough. Next we have is Sterling, the male version of Lux. I really, really, really do not like this skin. This skin is not a good... It doesn't look good, but at the same time, it's mainly because I don't like the face, and you don't see the face, so I'm, I'm okay with it. That I, I just flat out don't see the face, and I just rock it from behind. But the color scheme is decent. It's just... It's an old man, and it looks weird. Like It's like Backbone, but... It looks like one of those how you doing fellow kid memes. Like, it just looks like he's trying to be cool with his headphones and stuff like that. So, I don't see many people buying this skin whatsoever. Even the back bling is not great at all. So, again, I feel like it's a skin that probably no one bought. Next, we have his Fortune, which is the female version of Moniker. Again, I don't think this is sold well, mainly due to it not being in the shop enough. But, again, I just it just kind of looks ugly. I don't know. It doesn't seem like something that a lot of people would have bought. We also have Hackavat, which again, I don't see in the shop very often, but at the same time, I don't think it's 
a very visual and pleasing skin either. I'll go over some of these really fast because I realize how long this video is taking. Riot, again, I don't think many people bought it. Male version of Power Cord, no back bling. Don't think it sold well. Axiom, not sold. Cloudbreaker, Wingtip, Guan Yu, Dream Flower, Deep Sea Dominator, Deep Sea Destroyer, Caster. There is so many skins in this game that I think were not sold very well. And those are just a lot that I had to just mainly breeze by because it's all the same reason. I think they either aren't sold in the shop enough or people just flat out do not like the color scheme or the design of these skins. And now I'm going to go over through the ones that I really think were not sold very well at all. Glimmer was a skin that was only in the shop for two days. 2,000 V-Bucks, really bad back bling, and just not something I don't think many people like at all. Just, that's basically it. Uh, Grimbles was out for one day. Head's too bulky. It looks gross. No back bling. I don't think it's a good skin. I don't think many people bought it. Far Out Man. I like the skin, actually. It kind of reminds me of Grateful Dead. I really like the vibe with it. But again, I don't think many people bought it. And I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. Because it just hasn't come back in a while. And I'm kind of confused as to why. Recon Scout. This skin is going to get its own video in its outright. Because this is one of the most mysterious skins to me in my opinion and I really really like the skin the problem I have with it is that it's not sold in the shop enough and I feel like that there's no I feel like no one owns this skin and it just makes the most sense to me that to put this on this video because I don't think it sold well whatsoever mass fury again I don't think it was sold well and I don't think it's in the shop enough so there you go with that crackabella again I don't think many people bought Hillary Clinton it just I I don't even have to explain this one. Bendy and Twisty. They were only in the shop for two days. And yeah, I don't think many people like these skins whatsoever. And I think these skins were received horribly. I don't think anyone bought these skins whatsoever. These are probably the most... I at least most I, I feel like these are like the least sold, right? Like it, it's not to me, but it, it is definitely up there as one of the most least sold items in the shop. Uh, Ludwig, the male version of the Heidi skin. I think both of these probably didn't sell that well at all, but I think Ludwig was the one that probably sold the least compared to her. And again, the back bling is not great, and I never see the skin run at all. And I don't know. To me, it's just, I don't think it sold well whatsoever. And then the last thing that I think was probably the least sold item in the item shop that was a skin recon expert it makes no sense for me to not put this anywhere higher on this list even though this isn't really a list at all but recon expert is definitely the least sold in my opinion and i feel like this is probably true it was only in the shop for three days and it was only all in 2017 nearing the era of the ghoul trooper skull trooper being in the daily shop and in the item shop for as long as they were for 13 days it was around that time where not many people were buying skins in general, and I feel like that this skin is probably the least sold. Recon Expert will definitely get its own video again, like I made one about what happened to it, as well as making a video about the Recon Scout, because I feel like both these skins deserve their own videos, and I have a lot more ideas coming out in the near future. But once again, guys, again, I'm so sorry I haven't made a video in, I think it's six days now. I, I take a break for one day because I thought I had a surgery, even though it wasn't a surgery. It was just talking with my surgeon about the surgery. And then it turns out I don't make a video for a whole bunch of days, and I cannot tell you how sorry I am about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know with a like, but only if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, and turn on the bell just to get all my latest uploads and comment down below. What do you think is the least sold skin in the item shop? I would love to know. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite. Follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. Don't follow any of the other ones because they're fake. If you would like to use me for support a creator, my code is iTalkFortnite. Thank you all so much that use my code. It seriously means the world to me. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you all later. See ya.